What is up everyone? Um, we left off with painting the ceiling and painting the inside of the closet and the inside of the cabinets. So today we just wanted to give you an update on everything that we've gotten done, which it's kind of a lot and it's really exciting. And today we're also going to be connecting our fridge finally and putting the backer board in the shower. So we'll be ready to start tiling here soon. I'm just gonna show you what we've gotten done now. Last you saw, we only had these last four doors on. And just this week, we got these last two doors on. And something that we've been doing kind of in the meantime, just when we have a little bit of time here and there, is putting on these gas struts to hold the doors open. It wasn't super exciting. They are kind of hard to close though. Um, but I think that's gonna help not push these open while we're driving. We won't have to worry about things just flying out everywhere these are on makes it look really finished so i'm excited about it and probably our most exciting update we've got our sink in the butcher block is cut sealed installed we got our faucet in and yesterday we did a water test and we now have running water in the van and we did like i said with that water test we only had one tiny leak and all we had to do was tighten the hose clamp so we were super excited to not have to really fix anything and everything works how it's supposed to. So that's why today we're moving into getting the shower waterproofed so we can start tiling and really be on the home stretch of getting out on the road. We also got Chloe's crate door installed and the closet door installed. So now we're ready to get started with the day. Like I said, we're gonna start with connecting the fridge so we can get it out of our way and that's completed and then we'll move into starting to cut the backer board for the shower. So now we got the fridge connected. It's working, super excited to see that but now we're gonna just do a little bit of just strapping the plumbing lines that are inside the shower just to make sure they're not rattling or moving around and then we're gonna jump right into installing the foam backer board. So we've got all the plumbing strapped and ready to, for the foam board to go up but of course what would a day of working at the van be without forgetting that we ha don't have something and have to go to Lowe's. So we're going to head to Lowe's now, but before we go, I'm going to show you what the strapping of all the plumbing looks like in the shower. So before we put the foam backer board on, we're using this waterproof tape. And we're just going to go along the bottom of the shower pan, right along this lip here. You'll see what that looks like in just a second. So that way, just 100% no moisture or water can get in there. So that's what we're doing now. Okay, so we got the flashing tape down there. The reason we put that there is just, again, just a little extra precaution to make sure that everything stays watertight and waterproof. Um, so now that that's on, it's time to start putting on the curdy board. Pretty simple. So we got the backer board on the back of the shower and it looks really good. Now to the tricky part, we have to kind of scribe along the curve of the van for both sides. So I got a piece of cardboard outside that I'm gonna try and test it on and then transfer it to the backer board. This has been going much more smoothly than I expected. So 
10 out of 10 would recommend this stuff because it's been the easiest to work with for sure. Yes. Alright, we've got the curve cut on both pieces, so now time to get these in. Okay, so cutting around the curve of the van is really difficult and getting the template right, but once you get it, it, it does go up pretty quickly. But just trying to scribe that curve of the van is kind of difficult, but I think we're doing really good and it is taking a little more time than what we thought, but it's, it's gonna be so worth it. So I just wanna show you what it's looking like in the shower so far. Okay, so I finally got this side scribed and a hole cut at the bottom down here for um, for our nature said toilet power and vent and the mixer is also cut out now too that was a lot of work so we can finally screw this piece in and hopefully finish this tonight <sighs> wow that was a lot way more work uh, and time than what we thought it would take we thought we would get like the um the red guard on and everything today we did not do that but we got all of the curdy board in so tomorrow when we come back we'll put the red guard on which is just it goes over all of the screws and the seams just to make everything waterproof there so i'm going to show you what it looks like right now how we're leaving it tonight and like I said, tomorrow we will get that red guard on. We are back this morning and on today's to-do list, we are gonna finish waterproofing the shower and installing some trim around our bed slash bench area. These are two things that we've actually been waiting forever to do. And finally today, Honestly, I'm most excited to see the trim. the trim come around the benches. Yeah. But I guess waterproofing the shower means that we get the tile. So let's get to it. Let's do it. So we're starting with using this red guard. So we're going to put a coat of this on around all of the seams and all of the screw holes. And then we're going to put curdy tape on top of that and then put another coat of this on top of that just to make sure all the seams and screw holes are 100% sealed. So I'm gonna pour some of this and we're gonna get started. Okay, so the first coat of the red guard is on and the tape is all over the seams and the screw holes. So now it, it goes on pink and then when it's completely dry, it turns red. So it is kind of time sensitive. It dries pretty quickly. So I got everything in the shower. First coat's done. Um, we're gonna actually eat lunch now. And then once everything's completely dry, we're gonna go over everything. Just not just the seams and the holes. Um, just to put another waterproof membrane over everything. So I'm going to show you what it looks like now and then we're going to eat lunch. We're going to have peanut butter and jelly and we're also going to have cauliflower, broccoli, and dip those in ranch. That's lunch! And here's what the bathroom or the shower is looking like now that it's done. And we got the trim around the bench done. It looks so good. <laughs> That is a wrap for this video and a wrap on today. Really the biggest project was getting the shower waterproof, which we did. 
and we got the trim on, which you already know I was super excited <laughs> about that. It turned out really good. The next time you see us, we're gonna be tiling the shower. Super excited to show you that. We've already picked out the tiles. We just have to go get them. Yeah, and we've never tiled before, so. It'll be an adventure. Be fun. <laughs> so that's it for this video, and we'll see you in the next one. See you in the next one.